Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and today I'm going to teach you how to play Cardigan, the new song from Taylor Swift. It's a beautiful little song to play. Just before I teach you it though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, giving me the thumbs up, the like, uh, share the video and also leave me some comments, let me know what songs you want to learn and I'll try and do a video for you. So this song's based around the same sort of four or five um, different chords and it just keeps going around in slightly different orders, which is a little bit confusing, but hopefully we'll get the hang of it. Uh, before we play it though, we need to put capo on the third fret. Standard tuning, you could play this on an electric guitar, classical guitar, or an acoustic guitar like I'm playing today. Uh, so the first line goes like this. So for that, we're playing the E string on its own, then B3, and then B1. So you've got, and then it's gonna go straight into a D minor chord, which is your first finger on E1, third finger on B3, second finger on G2. So that's a D minor chord, we're gonna hit it four times. And then we're going to do that same little run that we did before the bar, which is E, B3, B1. If you wanted to, you could get rid of this, these little runs uh, and just play the chords and that will sound great as well. So the first bar, which leads into the second bar, we're going to play those. So it goes. And then in the next bar, bar number three, we've got a G chord. You could play the G chord either way, um, either using your third finger on E3, second finger on E3 nearest to your face, and first finger on A2. Or the way I'm playing it, I'm putting my third finger up one string on B3, and little finger on E3. Okay, four hits on the G chord. And then playing that line again. Uh, into the fourth bar, I've gone with, it's basically an F chord, um, but for this first little bit, just to make it sound like those piano chords, uh, I'm playing my little finger on B3, second finger on G2, third finger on D3. My first finger's ready and waiting on B1, but you don't see that for the first hit. So the first hit, we play the D3, the G2, and the B3 at the same time. Take the little finger off, Play those three strings and you've got B1 on the top. And then just hit the G and D strings another three times. So you get that same line again and then into a G chord. And then this line repeats around. So we play this first line twice. So let's try that. Here we go. We'll slow it down a bit. So we go one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the hardest line over and done with. Uh, once it's repeated that line, uh, the next line, we've got C for a bar, which is your first finger on B1, second finger D2, third finger A3. So C cut chord for a bar, we've got the G chord for a bar, we've got this F chord, I've done a slightly easier version. You could do the full bar chord if you want, but the way I've written it is your first finger on B1, Second finger on G2, third finger A3, little finger on D3. And don't play the E strings, just play the middle strings. If you play the E strings, especially the what E string nearest your face, it's going to sound uh, a bit dodgy. So just the middle four strings on that F chord, unless you're barring. Then bar of G chord, uh, bar of D minor, bar of G, bar of F, and then bar of G. So let's try that whole line. Um, I've written just uh, crotchets, but you could put a bit of extra rhythm in there if you want as well. So let's try the second line. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now 
Now the next line is just a variation on those chords. Basically it plays the second four bars of the previous line and then plays the first four bars. So it's just split, changed the way around it, it does it. So let's try, try this line, here we go. Two, three, four. Onto the next line, we've got a slightly different chord. It's an A minor chord, which is your first finger on B1, second finger on D2, third finger on G2. So that's on the second bar of that line, which is bar 23, also in bar 27. Uh, so let's try that line. Here we go. Starting on the F chord. Two, three, four. On to the next line, all variations on the same thing. Um, you'll notice there, the, you've got the first four bars, so bars 30, 31, 32, 33, and then the next four bars, bars 34, 35, 36, and 37, are repeated round four times. Okay, so you've got to watch that. Um, so you go C, G, F, G, four times before we go on to the last line. So let's just try that line. I'm not gonna repeat those second four bars um, so I'm just gonna play the, the line through once just so you know how it sounds. Here we go. Two, three, four. go C, G, F, G, uh, another th three times after that. And the last line of the song, uh, all the same chords that we've used before, so let's try it. Two, three, four. F, you just hold it all the way through. Okay, so let's try putting it all together. Uh, I'm not gonna do the repeats, so where there's repeat marks, it would repeat round, but I'm not gonna do them. I just wanna get through it, straight through. Uh, so here we go. One, two, three, four. Straight on to the next line, we're not going to repeat. D minor. Next 
line starts with an F. A minor. Repeat straight on to the next line, D minor, here it comes. Cardigans, a new song from Taylor Swift. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I'd really appreciate that. If you could give me the thumbs up, uh, the like button, that'd be amazing. Uh, and also leave me some comments. Let me know where in the world you're from, if you've liked it, if it's been too easy, too hard. Uh, and any songs you want to learn, put them in the comment section. I'll try and do a video for you. There's also some t-shirts and merchandise uh, you can purchase, help support the channel. Thanks for watching this. I'm Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.